What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we have our first actual battle against the Mughal Empire following the declaration of war. So we've got, we've got a very much a early model army compared to what I've been fighting with now, but I'm pretty sure we should be okay. So without further ado, let's crack on. Uh, so they do have lots of bowmen, which is okay. They're, they're manageable, but as I don't have the melee infantry I would like to have in the back pocket to deal with a conventional assault. Um, but that is kind of why I'm recruiting those troops in Persia and in Iraq. Uh, chiefly, it's those cities that I really want to hold. I would, like, I would much prefer to hold Iraq and Persia uh, rather than rather than uh, the territories that I'm currently fighting over. Although, right, okay, all you guys get out of the way. So I'm going to set up a defensive line ahead of the town. Too bad I'm not going to take advantage of most of the defensive opportunities such as special uh, trench works and so on. Those don't appear to be available for me to use with the troops I have. I do not like using defensive works for my artillery pieces. It feels like it constrains things a bit too much. Okay, so let's take you guys and these fellas. You guys hold and get ready to set up a defensive line. Put some... Ooh, hello. Some of our... Okay, so... This side of that position... I want to put some spikes. Spikes. My bashies can also put down some spikes. Spikes. Let's put the bulk of our camels round on the left. Come on, no, I don't want the water to come back here. You guys run back to there, you guys run back to there, you guys run there, you guys run there. You guys don't fire too obliquely. I need you guys. I mean, they are focusing on that art those artillery over on the right hand flank. Which might be a bad idea. I might put a unit of. Put another unit of melee infantry over on that flank, probably. Put my Riskers of Souls over there as well. Because that's where the concern is. This flank, at the very least, does have a lot of artillery potential. Obviously, in the centre, we've got our we've got our guns that we can use to fairly good effect. You guys are going to be a bit isolated out here. question is, that I don't know the answer to, is do Feline Musketeers, can they do fire by rank? And I suspect, I can't remember, it's been so long ago since I used them. But I think I need to be, it's going to be a bit cagey. So let's see, let's see how they... I think they might be able to, actually. Nope. Apparently not. Field artillery start to canister shot some of these suckers that are walking straight up to our guns. Too bad about the sound. Again, I don't know why this happens. 
got Gurkhas over here, which are they're concerning because they're quite they are, they're rather good melee units. Special Camel Nomads down round behind the lines. Our guns start firing canister shot because what the the AI could possibly do is overwhelm one air, one part of our lines, which I would not want. I want to be able to. I want to knock them back before they get within range, which means I need my Israeli, my experienced Israeli, to return to uh, reload. Oh, they're getting close to our guns. Close range canister shot though is enough to see some of them off. There they go. Let's try and inter interdict this unit of dervishes here. Let's also start to bring our Feline around on the flank. There we go. The centre of their push is bro has been broken. Let's keep some melee infantry back, waiting for the charge. We also need to be offensive with some of our other melee troops. You guys should take out those dervishes in short order. You guys might actually have to put some effort into the musketeers here. Okay, this is it. This is where the hammer blow falls. Hit those Gurkhas with our melee infantry. Dervishes have been dealt with. Let's push up our camels to go knock out the next unit of musketeers. Riskers of souls aren't any... They're not slouches in melee combat. Make sure you are appropriately targeting the correct units. Charge these Kizilbashi musketeers in the rear. You guys hit the infantry guards. They're coming back again. focusing the musketeers melee battle ensuing on the right flank so let's pivot you guys like so to fire by rank into the backs of these men you're firing like hell into the troops that you can actually kill you guys pivot take them out so they don't come back Come on, you fools! Shatter! Okay, maybe they don't want to shatter, that's okay. Hop back over to our Bashi Bazooks and all the men on this flank. General's got to hit those cavalrymen. You guys might just get involved. So we may lose. We might lose a gallant officer. Gunners are still doing what they're supposed to be doing, are holding their position. Oh god, pikes! No, run away! Okay, let's keep my general actually away from combat. That was pretty, pretty dumb. Send my semi Janissaries in. You guys start to hit the bowmen, you guys swing in to start trying to intercept some of this blob. We might be getting some of the melee, the morale advantages in the centre of this block. 
We are going to pick apart the flank. We're rolling along quite nicely. You guys push up. The levy are upset. See, what's really going to help us out are these Riskers of Souls. Because they count as being frightening. Yes, the, the, the Kizilbashi cavalry charging it isn't the best thing. But the important thing is the damage that we do. So you charge the infantry guards, you swing left, you swing right. There we go. They've they've broken. Shattered, 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 shattered. There we go. We engulfed and destroyed their forces on the right flank. Oh, the pikemen charged my uh, some feline. That's okay. You guys pick up your guns and this crew. Pick up your guns and engage the general's bodyguard with musketry. Okay, now where's my general? General's bodyguard, let's get him involved. Everyone else. The Israeli march up and form a line in case they come back. Set my general to chase down the Gurkhas. The Bashis and the Riskers of Souls. You guys form up behind the line. There we go. Let's just push men up towards the General's bodyguard. You guys pivot to face these bowmen. Someone come back. Oh, there's a unit of artillery back here. So get my camels to attack them. Make sure you you go after these Gurkhas, because Gurkhas, that's the kind of unit you want to kill, especially a four chevron unit of Gurkhas. And chase down those dervishes, because there's not very many of them. You chase down those Takili. Now we have sound again. And as these men march into our lines, they're going to be engaged in musketry from the hill. And the general's bodyguard is going to find himself under fire. It's quite a big melee battle, but we managed to surround and destroy their forces before they ever got a foothold. The bowmen have been defeated. Surround and, de and destroy the general, who fortunately is treated as an infantry target. So you engage him with fire by rank. rather than sporadic gunfire. Yeah, let's get all my mounted infantry to remain to kill these remaining musketeers because their general Ah oh, there he there we go. He's had enough. Just from artillery fire, it would seem. Um, but let's end it there. Because that's enough to push them back and to allow us to build our fortifications. They may send more men to attack us, but it will be in vain. 
Because now we are fortified. And they're sending up more men. So there is a limit to how long that position can hold, especially without the likes of Quicklime. However, this is why we are recruiting those forces in Persia and Iraq to conduct uh, either relief operations, if we still hold the city, or offensive op operations with the idea to push into... to push into... Uh, Indian Territory. Get the sneaky Venetians over here. You wait. I'm coming after you, India. Not India. Venice. Building sabotaged. Well, we're building a new one, so screw you. New town emerges in Galicia Podolia. Craft workshop. Trait gained. Good defender. Oh, that's you. You come around and auto resolve. This one. Yeah, it was 300 men. That's not too bad. Okay. First of all, before I start do too, doing too much messing around in Europe, I want to go and do some stuff. Not bothered about that blockade. Sultan's Academy in Romilia. That's as high as it can go. Mesopotamia. Keep upgrading your government buildings. Get some grenadiers. Five more units and you're done. In which case, then you can recruit another general's bodyguard. Start to recruit another army. Never stop. To quote, uh, to quote the Untouchables, they say, never stop fighting till the fight is done. And you're nothing but a lot of talk in a badge. Okay, good. We've got the walls up. Let's rebuild. Let's pick up some... Mortar. Actually, first of all, if they take two turns to recruit, let's get some Islamic swordsmen. Oh no. Eh, I suppose I would probably prefer Islamic swordsmen in the short term. So I think we've got a we've got a bit of time, and then but then when we end up do when we end up launching operations against India, I do want to land some troops here at Ahmedabad while we're pushing on to Nehrun. Lots of good stuff like that. Bohemia, there's, there's men on strike, but no no longer. You're replenishing. You are being scamped behind the lines, but you, this fellow is going to push you out. Great the Madrasa. So Berlin. You men can push up to this bridge. Without fear of, not reprisals, but them being upset. Upgrade the military buildings where applicable. But what I would like to do is take this fella. Oh, see, you're annoying with this unit of marines running around the flank. Okay, I can't leave this unit of siege artillery to do what they like. Okay, first of all, let's drop a unit of siege this unit of siege artillery over here. You need to run south, but what I want is for this guy to push up, hit Hungary. It brings in a lot of enemy troops. Especially that Prussian army. But the idea is, hopefully, we win before that becomes a problem. So let's go. And it looks like it's just... Is it... Level 1 fortifications. So... Oh, quick, climb, quick climbing howitzers should do some real damage here. Um, let's go take him out. 
But that is as is the strategy before. Uh, you want to damage, not destroy, the men in the fort. You want them to be capable and able to retreat. That's what you want. Because if you annihilate the armies, they'll just keep pouring in reinforcements before they can get onto the battlefield. Which isn't something you want. Not one bit. Because you don't need to destroy the reinforcements in the battle to destroy them on the campaign map. If you capture the city, it counts as a, a big loss to them anyway. So let's deploy our guns. So going in the breach, you can have my melee infantry. My grenadiers are going to go in the front. Swarming in around the rear, hopefully. Whoever... Whoever isn't hidden. There we go, you all hidden. Good. Good stuff. Okay, you guys... Fire... One, you got, one unit quick climb this unit of marines, one unit quick climb this unit of Lanvair militia. Will you have some reinforcements coming in? Who have we got? Some gendarmerie, a unit of mercenaries. Put that over here. Oh no, we will get some Prussians coming in, just out of a. Uh, necessity because they will two armies worth can get on the field okay this could be a bit spicier than I thought this is why I want these units to stay do I want them to stay hidden or do I push them up because they don't have mortars Potentially, I use these guys to engage this reinforcing army. Or this reinforcing army, whichever is the reinforcing army. Okay, let's go for these guys, because they're a bit closer to my lines and the potential to cause. Okay, this is the big army, it's got lots of cavalry. You guys focus on knocking down this section of the wall. Quick climbers, carry on doing what you want to do. Let's push our infantry up to try and knock out these reinforcing chaps of all of their hussars. The 4th Regiment is coming back. If they come after us, I'm just going to drop all, drop everyone into square, which is fine. Although they are coming after us, so I might just preemptively drop the 36th into square. Comes another Prussian reinforcement column in. We're going to do a lot of work with uh, quick climbing how it says, I think. Stay in square. We 
might want to make a couple of breaches, anticipating uh, the battle may drag on longer than desired. Just hopefully, just hope they ignore our main position. Keep an eye on these guys in case they don't. So they make sure they don't drop out of square. Okay, we've made a breach. Let's start attacking the second position. Start quick climbing the troops. Moving up to blockade the position. Drop you guys out of square. Or something like this. Just to provide fire into the flank of these hussars. There will be infantry coming from up here. That's what I'm more concerned about. infantry to the rear. Lots of cavalry in there. Yeah, you need to hit that garrison unit. You guys probably need to start dropping nondescript. Oh, not nondescript. Um, Non-discriminating um, quick climb into the center to help knock out some of their cavalry. You guys come out of come out of square. Not overly concerned about the hussars. Just need to keep an eye out in case they do sally. focus is these is this reinforcing army over here because that's a lot of cavalry and I'm pretty sure that was the full strength okay maybe this Lancer unit is going to come out and play so let's get you guys into square as well They look pretty cool. Good. 24 pounders. That's what we're after. Well, not what we're after, but... What we want to destroy. Their cavalry was a... Symptom. More so than a specific target. definitely to get into a position to do maximum damage to the Prussians. I think with nobbling their infantry or their cavalry like this, we've done that. Like these heavy horse artillery are going to... Uh, they're just going to get intercepted. Great quick climb shots in the centre. So that's the kind of thing we need to do while we deal with some of these guys outside of the fort. Because they aren't... Prussian infantry isn't bad. That's the thing to bear in mind, is these grenadiers are actually... They are winning.
we will start to do good stuff from sheer weight of numbers. I might just push you guys up like this instead. They need to push some men up ready to uh, fill any gaps. To be honest, I might just get you guys in here. Wow, the fort burns in. <laughs> it's just in ruins behind us. The general's been killed. You focus on the Grenadier Regiment. You focus on dropping them in the centre. Not focusing on a specific unit. Keep my artillery... My... my uh, keep my field artillery engaging targets over the bridge. These mercenaries are engaging. That realistically may end up being their only choice, but they are regulars, so they won't. It won't go down well. Come on, you fellows, get it into position. Just pour fire. I mean, I can't really prosecute the attack on the fort while my a good chunk of my assault team, my assault troops, are uh, not even here. They're dealing with a a reinforcing army. Okay, you guys drop into square. Because we've got cavalry. The funny thing is, this is the kind of thing that could result in the this defensive unit, these defensive this army getting uh, squashed. And let, well, these guys doing fire by rank should be very helpful. Because they'll then start to fire into the uh, Swiss Guards and so on. Might bring my general over. Especially as this Israeli unit is. No, you go into square. You stay in square. doing good work we just need to do more of it <laughs> there go the, it's the guerrilla mercenaries not necessarily the, the prime unit I'd have liked to have killed due to casualties sustained. Let's bring my cavalry over as well. No. Stay in square. There's a bucket load of cavalry over there. It, it, it's not so good for them dealing with the infantry when it shows up. Run my one of my reinforcing generals away. Bring my cavalry, my infantry up. Yeah, the Prussians are charging in. Ah, 
Yeah, you're not going to get to my general. Let's push the raw Mamluk guards up. I don't know why this suddenly it's starting to really chug. Keep dropping quick climb in the centre. That'll uh, deal with them. Charging my royal Mameluke guards. The dragoons are shattered, the Swiss guards are very unhappy. Turns out you're not the only ones with cavalry. They're shattered, they're not going to come back. 29th Regiment of Foot. Come on, don't let these silly old Avon militia take you out. Throw you guys into the mix. I wonder if something funky is going on over here in the town. This is why I've got quick climb dropping down here to just do maximum damage. Although realistically, I suppose they are already quite damaged in the centre. Switch one to round shot and get them uh, dropping round random round shots into the center. We got my cavalry attacking these Prussian dogs. No one's come in to replace these Swiss guards and all this expat infantry, which is positive. You're routing over there. So when when I've got my weakest units, my like these couple of infantry units, I'm probably going to then withdraw them from the battle, um, chiefly because there is no point sending them in to die. I may as well just withdraw them, get some fresh reinforcements. There goes the 29th, and the 58th will soon be behind them. Come on! You want a route? You know you want a route. Well, one of my cav units wants to go hit the militia, and you guys can stop firing. Yep, it is. Just send all of those guys into the fight while these guys can march back towards the battlefield. Or back towards the, the main battlefield, I should say. I don't think there's any more reinforcements coming. goes to knock out the 17th. Because 
as it is, lots of these infantry regiments are very depleted. We've got some good strength units of cavalry, but that won't save them. We'll start to get some scattered casualties from round shots coming in. I'm just looking forward to, hopefully, if my suspicion is that it could well be something to do with these guys. I mean, no, it's more likely to be a problem with a unit within the fort doing some... shenanigans that can't complete like these guys that are deploying they're deploying uh, or trying to deploy stakes come on just kill the militia Let's bring cavalry back. Just let the infantry slug out. They are more than up to the task. See what's going okay. Because really, I don't want to push in without. Without these guys having done their job. Because I want to get the I can get these two main units involved. These two weak units I want them to rout. I want them to give me good infantry, not cavalry. It's just surprising that they can be so Just, they weren't just steady, they were confident for a minute there. Well. Let's set the army marching up. Winning slightly. How can you be winning slightly? You're down 200 men. And granted, some of these units are getting pasted, but that's okay. That's what I was. I was okay with that. So if I hit. If I specifically aim for these. Cavalry. I was going to say, are you going to freak out and come and attack me? Let's get you carried on doing this. Carpet bombing with quicklime. Agent Q. Meanwhile, come on, you're only militia. You shouldn't be standing. You shouldn't be standing this well, especially when your generals died. It's not even your fault. But I'm curious as to what. Who's doing what? I mean, you gotta make. It's gonna make you wonder if it's these guys trying to get off the walls, and they've worked. They've realised they can't. 
Well, they haven't realised they can't, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to chop the recording and Bruning goes back when this has been resolved. So, see you in a minute. Hmm. So the sideshow has not been resolved, but it has reminded me that I am on the clock and I can't just stop. <laughs> I do need to uh, push up and in. So let's take... So most, yeah, I, w I withdrew those two reduced units. Okay, so let's bring up our melee infantry to help push the centre. Some of our Janissary Grenadiers, you're going to go around the right flank I'm going to bring some I hope I did not left click I, def I didn't double left click bring my light cover around the left around the right sorry my raw mammal guards go around the left or towards the left because you can start to see they are bringing up reinforcements not just any reinforcements, Royal Curacier Guard. Fresh unit of Mamelukes. So let's bring them up ready to counter charge or counter uh, the enemies. These militia are still holding on. Yeah, there's definitely shenanigans going on somewhere in the fort. I'm just not quite sure where. I'm probably going to use quick lime just to uh, help root out where the problems might be. So I'm going to send some sec bands through the gates. Uh, I want my. Janissaries to come up and tr either try capture this gate to provide a different way in. More quick lime coming in again, very frame ratey quick lime because of something in the fort. It makes me think it's something to do with one of these guys near the walls. finally made those militiamen route. But now you guys can break away. And then I want you guys replenished with or refreshed with stronger units. Because now our So Mamluks are running. You guys, though, my Royal Mamluk Guards, are going to get hit. Charge those pikemen in. If I can... Oh, I wonder if I, can, if I can drop you into square. You might... Aha! Frames... Okay, you hit them. Get out of square. You guys get in there. These Mamelukes, get in there. Pikemen, get over here. <laughs> I am aware I've pretty much just abandoned one of the gates, but I want to get men up on the walls. More cavalry. Come 
Come on, sec bands. This is your time to shine. This is what you love. Get him. Okay. For you guys, focus on the other breach instead. Sec bands are routing for a reason. You guys charge that breach because it looks like they want to try and uh, get away in. Well, they also they want to sally, so I want to try and hit them before that becomes a problem. Push our Janus three musketeers in as well. It looks like we are going to be able to capture this gate, which means this cavalry unit is going to be able to run in and do all sorts of nasty things. Let's just stop my artillery now full stop. Those Israelis try climb the gates. These sec bands just run them in. Looks like we're not going to be able to capture the gate, sadly. Yes, we have. You guys run across and try hit those grenadier guards with them. You guys get in here. Run these sec bands through the combat. I want to get my pikemen in there, really, against the cavalry. You guys should be able to do some good work against the Grenadier Guards. This cavalry is going to do nothing more than intercept that heavy horse howitzer artillery. Lost one of the generals, so I accidentally sent him into the into the breach. They form square, so pull back. But I've got cavalry in behind behind the lines. around the back as well. It might be a slightly false economy because I'm killing these units it's giving them a good run away. Don't kill that last gunner. I don't want to bring in any more reinforcements. Still in square. No pikemen. Get in there. You'd love those guys. Go after the regiment of horse. I'm bringing in more reinforcements. So we need to be careful of that. out these men these last remnants of Austrian power you guys can now hit okay you guys okay which unit is the one that's not fighting get over here and man those guns this unit get over here and man these guns. Let's 
starting to get through. We'd start capturing some of these gatehouses. To be honest, I think the best bet is probably you get out there, you get on the centre to get the timer ticking. Who's on here? So stand like this, and then we can uh, shoot that guy. guys man that section of the wall and you guys whichever one gets there first can man it you guys hit them you're still doing a good job against these fry core. these units up here are trapped and can't do anything run past them. Don't let any more reinforcements get onto the field. Yeah, you can't just come in, can you? Same with over here. Can't just come in. Sec bands just hung, hang around just this side of the wall. Yep, if you want to get in, you have to come through one of our breaches. You have to come all the way around. You man that section of the wall. These guys are just trying to shoot it. Well, they were just trying to shoot this last guy at manning the guns. But it looks like the city is ours. Your heavy artillery can be damned. Because the battle is ours. Oh, my wrist hurts. Oh, look at that. We lost 3,000 men. So a lot of men, but they lost 8,999. Beautiful. All of their forces in Hungary. Oh, look at that. Obviously, they have to run around our line. But what that's very tempting for is you guys can replenish. And then this force. Uh, raiders be damned. Push on. And uh, hit capital of Vienna I think that is the I think that's the strategy we go for next because you've taken some some damage in your mamelukes I'm pretty sure but the rest of you is in great shape so I'm not going to wait I'm not going to give an opportunity actually what I'm going to quickly do just to make sure they've not got any okay, let's just knock that down ooh maybe do that just to stop these siege guns from getting raided and killed by uh, these men. Um, yes. <laughs> Actually, I might quickly just go through this stuff just to make sure there's nothing I don't immediately forget. Just because it's quite useful to hop around and finish a turn after you've after you've uh, attended to everything else first. Good to heat, it's got the forts up. Dentberg. Upgrade this, and you've also got a madrasa that was built somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's already being rebuilt. Don't worry about recruiting stuff here. 
Press the pressure. Oh, I don't have the money to do. I don't have the money to jump on lots of this. Curacao's got new roads. Soon you'll be ready to push on and land on the mainland of the United States. But the interesting thing, Evadavani with his fairly rookie army, go capture the Austrian capital. And is that no? They have Munich. The Austrians have Munich. So that won't be them out of the game, but. Uh, will be damn close. Oh, and they've got Zagreb, but they'll go down. But yes, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on the Austrian capital. Cheers, everyone.